Imagine it, traveling alone in the dark of space, in the large Magellanic cloud, when you come upon the first light in decades to grace your instruments. It's a blue star, about 25 times the mass of our sun. Every so often, the light from that blue star dips dramatically. At first, you think that you've finally found another solar system outside our own galaxy. But as you drift closer, you notice something odd about the star. Your instruments go haywire with intense readings of Hawking radiation. Eventually, as your ship nears closer to this system, and the onboard telescopes are able to get a better look at the star, another transit reveals something horrifying. This star has a companion, and it's a dormant black hole. A silent, sleeping monster weighing in at nine times the mass of our Earth's sun waiting for material to make the ultimate mistake and come too close where not even light can escape. You're shocked and terrified as you pore over the data, yet you're also excited. This is an unprecedented find. Black holes of this size are common, yes, but a black hole like this means that the star that formed it ended its life cycle before its companion, something that is incredibly rare. It sounds like fiction, mainly because of how I wrote this intro, but it's not, because astronomers have discovered exactly this in the large Magellanic Cloud orbiting a blue star 25 times the mass of our own sun. I'm Eric Malachite, and we're talking about dormant black hole VFTS-243, why it's special, and why the so-called black hole police are fairly certain this isn't a false alarm. Up until this point in our history, we have never observed a stellar mass black hole outside our galaxy. The Large Magellanic Cloud is a small, irregular galaxy with a diameter of 14,000 light years that orbits the Milky Way at a distance of 148,200 light years. And located within the Tarantula Nebula inside the Large Magellanic Cloud is a very unique binary system containing a large blue star and a dormant black hole. These types of black holes are incredibly hard to spot because, as they're not consuming material, they are A, not emitting any kind of visible light because, you know, they're a black hole, and B, for that same reason, are not emitting X-ray radiation. But with many false positives being debunked by the so-called black hole police, how can we be certain that VFTS-243 really is a black hole and not some other cosmic phenomena? And also, who the hell are the black hole police? Are they like the Spanish Inquisition for, like, black holes? VFTS-243 was discovered thanks to observations made by the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, VLT for short. Specifically, the Fiber Large Array Multi-Element Spectrograph, or FLAMES, instrument inside the VLT. This was a process of elimination taken by researchers who published their findings in the journal Nature Astronomy. While we can observe supermassive black holes with the Event Horizon Telescope thanks to all that crazy energy that they're emitting, stellar mass black holes are pretty quiet and require indirect observations. And sometimes those indirect observations lead to false positives. And those false positives are usually weeded out by a group of study authors who are known in astronomy circles as the black hole police. More than 10 different supposed black hole discoveries have been debunked by them in the past two years. But VFTS-243 is not one of those, mainly because the ones doing the discovering were the black hole police. And suddenly I have an idea for a Monty Python skit where a group of scholars go around policing scientists like they're the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the black hole police. Okay, so how are the black hole police, whose chief weapons are surprise and almost fanatical devotion to science, orbital mechanics, and colorful red uniforms, that's three chief weapons, I'm sorry, no, that's four chief weapons, so sure that this is indeed a dormant black hole. First, astronomers comb through data from these telescopes, looking for stars that are each a part of a binary system. And if one of those companion objects is not visible, then you might just have a black hole on your hands. Tomer Shinar, study co-author, followed this up by telling CNN by email that, What we see here is a star weighing about 25 times the mass of our sun, moving periodically every 10 days or so around something invisible that we cannot see in the data. The analysis tells us that this other thing must be at least nine times more massive than our sun. The main part of the analysis is elimination. What can weigh nine solar masses and not emit any light? A black hole is the only possibility we have got left. This or a fat, invisible alien. 
I won't lie, that made me chuckle. There might be more in there, but only for this one we could show the presence of a black hole unambiguously. This is an artist's concept of said black hole and companion star. Though, something to note about this one is that it's not even close to scale. And the gravitational lensing effect was only put there around the black hole to make it more discernible in the image. VFTS 243's companion star is somewhere around 200,000 times larger than the black hole, so who knows what it would actually look like up close. For now, it does seem that this is indeed the first confirmation of a dormant stellar mass black hole outside the Milky Way. But as Shinar notes later on when speaking to CNN, in science, you're always right until someone proves you wrong, and I cannot know that this would never happen. I only know that none of us can spot a flaw in the analysis. I hope you enjoyed this short science video, and be sure to check out our longer videos like this one on exotic forms of ice that is sure to blow your freaking mind. Until the next video, be sure to do all that algorithmic jazz and join our Discord community to chat with other science nerds like you. And hey, check out all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. I'm Eric Malachite, and I'll see you next time, Space Cowboy.